In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp messages to new Facebook leads. So here, you're using Facebook lead ads to generate leads. And every time a new lead is generated, you want to send your lead a WhatsApp message talking about your company, the brochure, the product, etc. How can you do that? For this, you will have to integrate this with an application that can help you in sending WhatsApp messages. Here we are using Interact. Now, you have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Facebook lead ads and your action application would be interact. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user simply click on sign in. If you are a new user click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is to send WhatsApp messages to new Facebook leads captured through Interact. So I'm going to click on create. So as I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger says when this happens, action is do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application would be Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event here would be new lead instant. Basically this workflow is going to trigger when a new lead is submitted in specified lead generation form associated to your Facebook page. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to click on connect. As I do that here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with a Facebook lead ads account. To do this first you have to log into your Facebook account and then you have to select add new connection, connect with Facebook lead ads. As you do that, here you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, now here we are supposed to select the page and the lead generation form associated with it. So before I do that, I'm going to take you to my Facebook account. So this is the Facebook account and these are the various pages that I already have created. So you can see Pabli Tech, Ayush Herbal Store, Cycle Store, etc. So you can create your own lead generation page. There's a separate video for that. Now let's say that I have got ABC Plant Nursery. And now for this plant nursery, I have created a lead generation form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to look for ABC plant nursery. Here it is. And now since it had only one lead generation form, so here you would be able to see that it has already been captured by the system. Now what do we need to do? As I click on save and send test request. It is asking me to log into the application where we have added the webhook URL and do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Basically, we have to fill this lead generation form. So I'm going to take you to the lead generation form. So how do you reach this page lead ads testing tool? There's a separate video for that. You can find it in the description box. Now here I'm going to select ABC plant nursery. Here it is. So this is the form. And now I'm going to click on preview form. As I do that here, we can see that the form has appeared and we have to fill in the information. First of all, the email. So let's say it is test at pablitudes.com. Then what is the full name? It is test user. Now here I'm going to provide a phone number. So once we have provided the number, I'm going to click on next. And here we are going to submit this form. As soon as we do that, here we can see that the form has been submitted, taking you back to Pabli Connect. Let's see if we have received the API response. And yes, here we have received this. So this is the email address. Then we have the full name. We have the phone number. This is the creation time. And then we have the ID here. We have the details in array format. My objective is to send a WhatsApp message to the person who has just filled my lead form. So now I'm going to add another action application here and this time it is interact. 
let's click on this now the action event here would be to send whatsapp template message let's click on connect here pably connect is asking to connect itself with the interact account so i'm going to click on add new connection now we need a secret key to complete this setup for this first you have to log into your interact account and then you have to click on this hyperlink so i've already logged in let me click on this as I do that, here you can see this is our secret key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pavli Connect, paste this over here and click on save. As I do that, here we can see that the two applications are now connected. Now here we have to provide the country code, phone number and then we have full phone number. So either you can provide it separately or here you can provide the full phone number. Now the information that i have received so here i have received my complete phone number so here i'm going to map this information now how do i map it for this i'm going to click on this as i click on this i get the previous step and now as i click on this i get all the responses that we have received earlier and this is the phone number let's click on this so once this is done now the template code name now for this template code name we have to click on this hyperlink as i click on this so we are directed to the interact shop and here we have all the active templates these are the templates so you can see that i've already created these templates so let me show you this new lead template that i've created here we can see that we haven't selected any header option as header you can either select a text image video document i have selected none now comes the body so here you can see it is written hello and then you can see a number written within double curly braces thank you for reaching out to us we are excited to hear from you and learn more about how we can help you our team will be in touch with you shortly to schedule a call and discuss your needs in further detail Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns in the meantime. Regards, and then there is another number within double curly braces and then it is written team. What are these two numbers? These numbers are basically known as variables as they can change with every message. That is how you can customize a message. Now here we have a footer and then if you wish to add a button, you can add a button. Here I'm going to copy this. Going back to Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste this here. This is my template code. Once done, now language code. So here you can see that the language is there is just one language selected here, English. So for English, we have to write the code EN. So that is done. Now comes the header value. So since we haven't selected any header, we are going to leave it blank. Otherwise, you can add the URL of the image or the text or the video that you want to add here. Now the body variable value. So here we have to enter the values of variables in my templates body. So I've got two variables. First, where I have to mention the name and second, where I have to mention the name of the company. So here again, I'm going to map the values and separate them with the help of commas. To map the value, as I click on this, we are directed to the previous step and this here is the name. And then I'm going to put a comma and write Pabli connect why because this name is going to be static it's not going to change as it's the name of my company so i have written this manually next is position of cta button so if you want to add any cta button then you have to select the position and here the value since we haven't selected any so i'm going to leave this blank click on save and send test request so as we do that here we have received the response this means that a whatsapp message must be received by the person who has just filled in the form so I'm going to take you to my WhatsApp account now. And, and yes, here you can see that we have received a message. Hello, test user. And this is our message. Regards, Pabli Connect team. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to the lead generation form. And here we are going to fill in another form. So I'm going to click on preview form. The email address is dummy at pablitudes.com. Then we have the full name, which is dummy user. And here again, I'm going to enter the phone number. Let's click on next and submit. As soon as we do that, what should happen automatically, a message should be received on WhatsApp. And here you can see that, yes, we have received another message. This is hello dummy user and the bodies remains the same regards Pabli team. 
This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was Facebook lead ads where the event was new lead instant and our action application was interact where the event was to send WhatsApp template message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.